So you didn't like Arizona, huh? No. Oh. Yeah, well, I was never a big fan of the desert either. All those snakes and scorpions and those yucky bugs. Ugh. I don't really care about the bugs. Yeah? Wasn't it? Here. Well, was it the friends? You didn't have enough friends? The kids weren't nice to you? I had really nice friends oh. there. Maybe it was just too hot. Ugh. No, it was just that... Well, it just wasn't fun. I'm sorry. Mommy cried a lot. Yeah. Well, I'm sure she must have really been missing Daddy, huh? No. It was the other man. I hated him. He made my mommy cry all the time. And then I'd have to take care of her. Missy, what other man? Bad man. on here? Not much, just a little girl talk, right? Right. Nothing important. Well, it is getting late and I have an appointment. Don't so... go. Well, honey, I have to go, but we're going to have our own little tea party soon, I promise. Just the promise? two of us. Swear. Bye, pumpkin. Bye, Beth. Harley. The next time you have something for Lizzie, I would appreciate a phone call first. It was just a scrunchie, Beth. I was in the area. I'm just saying, next time. You can remember that, can't you? Sure. I have a mind like a steel trap, Beth. I am sorry if I inconvenienced you, though. No, actually, I'm the one who's sorry. Sorry about that house you were counting on, but you know Philip. Yeah, I think I do. He will always put his family first. But then he's made that clear to you, hasn't he? Yeah. But I like you. I mean, this isn't fair. No. It isn't. But it's my fault, Michelle. Can't you see? I crossed the line. I'm sorry. Well, wait, can't we talk about this some more? You're the only one I can talk to here, the only one I trust. I'm sorry, Michelle. We can't. Are you sure this doesn't have anything to do with a, a university program or anything? Nothing like that? Nothing. All right, I just thought you'd have a little more information. All right, well, this address will help out. It's a good start. Thanks. This is weird, man. What? What is? Can I talk to him for a second alone? Uh, of course. Yeah. No offense taken. What's up? This came from a place few miles outside of Springfield. And? And some kind of uh, private institute or something. Like a college? Well, that's the thing. The librarian didn't even know. She had no idea. So what are you going to do? Got the address. I think I want to pay a little visit. About time. I hate to interrupt this uh, bonding session, but we have a baby birthing class to go to before the baby arrives. <laughs> Excuse me. Good, Good luck. <laughs> Good luck yourself. See you guys later, Bye-bye. Well, I almost did it. I wanted to fight Ben exactly the way he was fighting me. 
I don't know. I was turning into my brother. No. Oh, Ross, you could never be your brother. Well, I was. All I could think about was winning, and there's my client standing there needing protection and representation, and... I don't know, I just forgot for a minute. God help me, I forgot. I love you so much. I'm so proud of you. You're proud of me? Yeah. Not many men could admit that. And even fewer could, could back off for the sake of someone else. You have to say that, don't you? You're my wife. No. <laughs> yes, you do. I have to say that because it's true. All right. I'm going to go to the office and start Abby's paperwork, and I'll see you at home, honey. 